if the promoter in this country does not feel free if the promoter in this country does not feel secure if the promoter in this country does not feel that he has to be part of the manufacturing revolution i do not think so there will be ever a level like this do not forget what china started in 1979 for liberalization can be started in 1991 so there was a head start of of 11 12 years but do we do we now consider ourselves only 11 or 12 years behind china of course not but what china did was china cast its, its policies in cement and we could not do that china cast its interest rate they cast the rmb against the dollar in cement and that could lay a, a road map to great diversity and prosperity as far as manufacturing was concerned now i wish we could have done that similarly southeast asian economies are driven by fueled by federal dispensation and government whereas at the center of indian growth story is a promoter so how do you give a level playing field to a promoter this is the difference between indian manufacturing scenario and southeast asian economy they were hinged more on export and we are hinged more on domestic demand and consumption they were investment heavy and we are consumption heavy now if these are the criteria on which we have to develop a level playing field make no mistake this level playing field is for domestic demand or consumption or is it for exports now these two are ex- extremely different things if you connect and this is a very small exercise if you connect on on the map political map of india from kanpur to chennai if you draw a straight line you put a ruler cross draw a line from kanpur to chennai would you believe 65% of prosperity of this country lies on the west side of that line how come there is a polarization and dichotomy where is that level playing field so level playing field has got three or four legs it's got three or four ecosystems and unless we come to understand what it takes it, it can't be only anti china bashing it can't be anti import bashing it cannot be government bashing alone it has to encapsulate the entire chain of stakeholders going forward land allocation in china Volkswagen went to China and said we need 2000 acres they took and this is the biopic of Volkswagen CEO he said they took me in a shopper they took me to 3500 feet and said well that is a piece of land that they are earmarking for you now at 3500 feet it's very difficult to say whether it's 2000 acres or 1000 acres or 3000 acres he came down when he was signing the contract it said 20000 acres he said excuse me is there a problem in this contract there's a extra zero there he said no this is 20000 acres you wanted 2000 we gave you 20000 acres build roads build educational institutions build hospitals build living quarters then build your factory that's the level playing field we are talking about we are not talking about uh, uh, simply providing uh, uh, capacities and and low capital we are providing in general a ecosystem which can lead for manufacturing to come back to india and this is where the entire stakeholder chain also has to understand a great integrated steel plant has to lead this manufacturing revolution it is a revolution and at the head of this revolution is the promoter of the integrated steel plant and let me quote the famous augustine here revolution is a struggle not through the purity of spirit but through the exercise of free will if the promoter in this country does not feel free if the promoter in this country does not feel secure if the promoter in this country does not feel that he has to be part of the manufacturing revolution i do not think so there will be ever a level like this